How's the arm? Much better. The words thank you don't feel big enough for what you did. But I honestly don't know what else to say. You don't need to say anything. I want you to know, I'll follow you into battle no matter how crazy things get. I've got your back. And I always will. I spoke to President Raiko. Tomorrow, he's announcing a plan to expand the city rather than rebuild downtown. I bet Aang never could have imagined there'd be a spirit portal right in the heart of Republic City. Korra, you've transformed the world more in a few years than most avatars did during their lifetimes. But I feel like I've only just begun. There's so much more I want to learn and do. You don't know how happy I am to hear you so full of hope again. It's been a bit of a bumpy ride, huh? I've come to realize life is one big bumpy ride. I know I was in a pretty dark place after I was poisoned. But I finally understand why I had to go through all that. I needed to understand what true suffering was, so I could become more compassionate to others. Even to people like Kuvira. Excuse me, Tenzin. Varric is looking for you. Something about wanting to borrow a glider suit to fly off the tower? That doesn't seem like a good idea. Wanna sit with me for a minute? I'm not ready to get back to the party just yet. I don't think I ever really apologized. For what? For being gone all that time. For not coming back sooner. You don't need to apologize for anything. I'm just so happy you're here now. I don't think I could have handled losing you and my father in the same day. I am so sorry about what happened. Thank you. I'm just glad I was able to forgive him. So, what now? Back to the dance floor? I'm kind of all danced out. Honestly, after everything that's happened the past few months, I could use a vacation. Let's do it. Let's go on a vacation, just the two of us. Anywhere you want. Really? Okay. I've always wanted to see what the spirit world's like. Sounds perfect. <laughs>